On Thursday, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand joined other Senate Democrats during a press briefing on reproductive rights. Gillibrand decried the quote, full out assault on women following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Gillibrand took aim at Justice Clarence Thomas, saying he suggested that he wants to further eliminate the quote, right to privacy and other aspects of life, not limited to abortion. She also condemned Senator Lindsey Graham's recently announced abortion ban bill. Graham has received criticism for this federal proposal after stating last month that the issue of abortion should be left up to the states. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> um, we've witnessed over the past several months a full-out assault on women, on their rep reproductive freedom, on their basic civil rights and civil liberties to make decisions that are life and death decisions to them, undermining their right to travel, undermining their right to privacy, to be able to have communications with their mothers on Facebook, to be able to talk to their doctors, to be able to access life-saving care. It is unconscionable to me that Senator Graham now believes that this should be a federal law that he believes now that states' rights no longer need to weigh in our minds, that he wants to have a federal ban across the board. He wants to codify the Supreme Court's decision that women, for 40 years of their lives, their entire reproductive life, have no right to privacy. That's what he wants to codify, that no woman in America, for 40 years of her life, has a fundamental right to privacy. Those fundamental rights that allow her to make these very intimate decisions about when she's having children, under what circumstances she's having children, with whom she's having children. That's what's so unconscionable about Senator Graham's bill. He wants this to be law of the land, regardless of where you live, regardless of the rights and privileges that states have put in their own constitution to protect women's right to privacy and their basic civil liberties. And if you really want to think about it, this is more than political. It's more than ideologic. It's basically the imposition of a theocracy in the United States. That's what it is. It's taking one religious viewpoint, one, and imposing it on the entire nation. And if you listen to Clarence Thomas, he wants it expanded. He wants to eliminate all the rights and privileges under the right to privacy. He wants to eliminate the right to contraception, the right to privacy in the bedroom, the right to LGBTQ equality and marriage. He's taking this country back over 50 years. He's taking this country back to a time when women did not have full equality. He wants to deny right to privacy to half of the U.S. population. This should be blocked in every way possible. It should be called out for what it is, an attack on women, an attack on our bodily autonomy, an attack on our sovereignty as human beings. It's unconscionable, it's wrong, and we have to defeat it.